Insights of All Trades podcast. College was just not for me. Like, like, just furthering, like, because I felt like I had to do what everyone else was doing, go off to college, and that's great. Like, if, if college is for you, that's awesome. Go and do that. Further your education, it's going to be worth it. But I came to realize I just, I just, it's not for me. I already did 13 years straight of just bullshit school that I, I hate so much. So I was like, I need to do something else. So, Do you, do you have any advice for people that might be in high school or, you know, maybe not feeling fulfilled with what they're doing right now? Anything like, you know, it seems like you totally took a 180 and switched right, into, exactly. right into the Marines. Any sort of advice for those kind of people that might not be, you know, feeling satisfied where they're at? So I, I wasn't. I wasn't even sure right after high school if college would be for me. I was questionable on it, so I was like, you know, give it a try. So I went to a community college. It's cheap. You can pay it off. It's easy. It's a lot better than going to a university for the first one, two semesters and owing so much more money. Turn up. Exactly. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, I mean, but like, if it's, I mean, you, both of you fellas, you, you're still, you're still kicking it and you got both doing very well from what I hear. So, but like the people who, it's not for them, um, I would definitely try, or the ones that are questionable want to just try out a community college. If you hate it, back out, do what you want to do. Um, if you're going to, if, if you do turn to military, uh, make sure you look into each branch. Um, if you're doing it for the benefits and for the things you'll get when you get out, join join the air join the air force, the army, the navy. Um, but if you want to do it for your own self pride and confidence and everything, the Marine Corps is really, in my opinion, the only branch that can give you those things. But um, just just you know try things you know just honestly try things and and if you don't like it quit don't feel like you have to keep doing it just because everyone else is doing it you know yeah i think that says a lot about you just as a person going back to the college thing like to be able to you know dip your feet in for a semester and still be willing to step away i kind of say that tongue-in-cheek because you know, luckily I'm someone that's immersed in my education, my education, and I do love it, but I think it would be kind of delusional to think that it's for everyone, because it's not for everyone, the same way that the Marines isn't for everyone. I could go and not have as fulfilling of an experience as you. So for you to, you know, kind of veer around until you find a path like the Marines, I wish everyone kind of had that courage, step out of the box exactly. and not get yeah. pushed, whether it be from friends, family, etc., cetera, mm-hmm. into some path that's not really for them. If, if that could be a takeaway for anyone, I feel like that's a, a pretty universal takeaway yeah. is that should be, be able to try things, even if it's not what maybe your family or friends want you to do. do exactly. I had, so, I had so many people try talking to me out of it, and, and they almost got to me. So no kidding, whenever I actually signed that piece of paper and was going off, I didn't tell anybody except for my parents. That's it. Well, because they obviously deserve to know. Like, where's my kid gone? You know, he just disappeared someday. So, so I, I didn't tell. Not even my closest friends. I didn't even tell. Like, my closest friends at the time were Alex White and Kai Jang, and I didn't tell either of them. And they didn't find out where I'd gone. I made up this BS story that I went out to California to do estimating for this really big paving company, and and it was it was it was just a, a load of garbage. So why'd you do, why'd you decide to do that instead of just telling people? Was there? Because I, I knew they were going to just, they weren't going to try to talk me out of it. They were, they were just going to tell me all the negatives. And, and this yeah. is something you have to do and you just have to go. Like, you can't overthink it. Yeah. I knew boot camp was going to be hard. I knew it was going to break me down. But something in me wanted wanted that. Like, they, they just, I wanted to better myself because from the looks of it, like, there there are a lot of, of garbage human beings in the military. Don't get me wrong, like there are. But, you know, I've met some of the most, like just the greatest men I will ever meet in the military, like truly. Like it, it does change people for, for the better. So, and that's the kind of guy I wanted to be. So that's that's it.